we have something so exciting to share with you. I am just absolutely over the top. <laughs> we uh, premiered it. Okay, we used the great Girlfriends Getaway attendees as guinea pigs to test this out. They loved it. It was a roaring success, <laughs> and now we have it for you. This is all about a six-inch clock, yes. and it comes in two styles, and wait till you see all of the ways you can personalize it and make it your own. And it's great for gifts, too. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Ta-da! Okay, this doesn't look very exciting. I know it doesn't look very exciting, but look at this. Does that look exciting? Beautiful. This is what you can make, and the kits provide you with the base to do that. So, like Gail said, there's two styles. There is a round. It has an instruction sheet. It has the mechanisms. Do you want to slide that in? Sure. And we can... These are just all the bits and pieces so that come in it. These are what you get in the kit. You're going to get this large wooden piece, which it's is a hardboard. This <laughs> hardboard piece, which is a six inch base. You're going to get the clock mechanism, which takes a battery. I believe it takes a double A battery. Which is not included. Which is not <laughs> included, but it will work. It's got this little stud on here. We'll show you how to put these pieces yeah. together. You've got the hanger and all the these pieces together make that working clock. So you have the round, you also have a square option, same thing, and then a stencil because the stencil is going to be needed. So let's right. scoot these aside. And an instruction sheet on yeah. how to put all that together. And it is really simple to assemble. And I love that you have the photo uh, pieces that show you each little step of how to assemble. Super simple. And then up here are the steps for doing what we're going to show you at this moment. And on the back, there are lots of options, which we are also going to show you. Right. So this is what we're focusing on. Now, this particular one used the Mystic Garden Paper Collection. So uh, this came out earlier this year, and that's what it looks like. And Gail's going to bring in this top sheet that is in the paper pack. So here is that border piece. It's got that beautiful imagery here, and this is what was used for the clock. Now in order to make that clock just the way you just saw, you're going to take the base piece, you're going to place it flush with the bottom of your paper and about a quarter of an inch from the left edge. So we've got it right about there. That's going to give you the same image that you saw in the clock. Now if you have another paper and you want to see you know, what it might look like, just hold it up to the light and put the clock base behind it, kind of move it around and you can see where it's going to right. go. So once you pull that away, then you can see there's an edge here and you'll just start cutting that out and just cut right along that edge. Or slightly inside the edge, since that was on the outside of the circle. Right. You can just cut just right along the inside of it. Right. And, and Gail's already, already done that. <laughs> yes, I have. And here it is. So now we've got the piece. We're going to orient it the correct direction. Yeah. I'm actually going to bring, or however you want. bring in my craft sheet and place it on there. Well, I'm going to orient it this way because when I put the stencil on, I want to be able to line sure. it up and down. So that's the way I'm going to do that. And here is the stencil. So I'm going to go ahead and center this stencil on here. And you want to pay attention to the holes on the edge. I'm going to pull that down so you can see. You want to make sure that they're all about an equal distance away from the edge of that stencil. If you go around to the bottom, you want to make sure Everything's pretty equal, and then we're going to and tape one more it thing, actually, while you're down there is uh, let's scoot this up a little bit. You want to make sure where that bird is. So, just want to share with you where our finished one is. Is the bird is right behind the six, but the tails are kind of going that way. So, and that's what you have positioned. Okay. Some stencil tape. So some stencil tape to keep that in place. We also want to mask off the center. Now you can use stencil tape to do that. We've got a, a nice piece here. We used our circles and scallops cutting dies to go ahead and cut a piece that would cover this without, <laughs> right. without covering the numbers. So we're going to do that. Then we have a Stazon ink pad, and you know, technically you can use any color, Actually, but the black is <clears throat> nice, it just really pops when you yeah, use it. Yeah, I'd almost recommend not using Stazon, only because really? it's going to stain your stencil unless you get the, the Stazon the cleaner Stazon on it. cleaner. Right. Oh, okay, which, which actually, that's what I do. I, I live by Stazon <laughs> and the Stazon cleaner. And I'm just going to go up and down like this, and we're just going to get 
that uh, just through the stencil area, just so we can get all the way around, we can get all the numbers, we can get all the little circles, and we're going to go ahead and break away so that I can finish now, this. Now, what's interesting about this is that it takes less ink than you might think because um, you're not really covering the whole clock. You're just going into those right, areas. Right, just to those areas. Fact, and as a matter of fact, yeah. you can lift it yeah. and see how your progress is, and you can see that that's So you working. can see that it, it kind of still looks a light black, but in the areas of the stencil, it's dark black. So, right. And I would really recommend as you go around this and you feel like you're completely done with an area just peek under the corner and as we just did and make sure that you really got everything because it's just easier to do it the first time right so we are going to break away so you can finish doing your dabbing okay. see you in a minute and magically it's all done it <laughs> is all done and now I'm going to remove the stencil and there we have it I'm going to take that. I'll take yep. this away. Okay, so now we have our paper and it's all inked and um, ready. Step two, or the next step, is, is gluing it yeah. to, the, to the clock. Now you'll notice that the clock face has a hole in the center and ours doesn't, but we have a way of dealing with yeah, that Yeah, don't worry easily. about that at this point. And we're using a glue stick and right. I'm going to make sure that I go definitely around the edge. Well, you really want to do the entire surface because you don't want this lifting up. So really be uh, generous with that and go all over it. And this, um, the, uh, we found glue, the glue stick we have is a wider. Mm -hmm. too, yeah, yeah, it works perfectly. Yeah, it's a nice big wide one. So I think I've got that pretty well okay. covered. And then we just want to go ahead. And all we have to do is make sure that it's covering the entire clock face. We don't have to worry about where up is right now and then once we have it on there go ahead and push it into place right now if you have any paper that is sticking out you can turn this over and just see if there's anything and there's a little bit right there so you could take your scissors or this would be the time right. take your scissors and um, remove that although actually this one is perfect so right now. okay so we've got that. Now we've got to get to that hole in the center. I've got my retractable pen knife with my nice little inky fingers. And I'm going <laughs> to go to the back and I'm going to just poke a hole through the center of it. I'm going to make sure my fingers are not in the way when I do that. Poke hole in the center and do you have a trick to this? No, I turn it to the front now and then just okay. go right around that now opening. That, now that you know where the yeah. center is. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to get on the table. Just sort of cut it out and cut it around that hole. And don't worry about it because this is going to get covered up. So um, if it isn't terribly smooth, uh, that's true. There's going to be a nice little it. gold washer that covers yeah. the edge of this. So just get it out so that you've got the post yeah. is going to sit in. There. And that's so another reason that. for gluing it down so that it's nice and tight. Okay, now we're going to go into the mechanism. Okay, I'm going to put this here so that we can okay. see what we're working on. So we're starting with that base. Right. And with the base, we want to put the hanger on. Wait, before you do that. Okay, I'm going to, you know, yeah. I'm going to let you do Okay. It. <laughs> uh, this is the mechanism and one side has an opening. Now this is for the battery, the AA battery that is not included. And we need to leave that exposed. That way you can put the battery in. So going to the other side of it, you can see there's this indentation. Well, that is going to perfectly fit our hanger. This is the hanger. And it's going to slide right on there. Now, as a double check to make sure that it is positioned correctly, look on the other side. So you see how this edge goes right along with the hanger. So that's what you want. If it looks like this, that's not going to work. Yeah, the clock is not going to fit on there with right. that hanger in the way, so... So you turn, turn it, it over. Okay, so that's going to rest just right in that little notch. Then we're going to take the black rubber washer, and this is going to go right onto that hanger. So that's going to cushion the mechanism and make sure that it stays correctly uh, aligned. Then we're going to take our clock and rest that right onto the pointy outy thing. Not sure what that's called. I think the it's post. Uh, oh well, yeah, but pointy outy <laughs> post is fine. Now another thing you'll want to do, either right now or at some point, is make sure that the hanger is oriented behind your 12. That way your clock will hang correctly. Right. That's always nice to have. Now we're going to go to our gold washer, 
and it's just a flat piece, and that's covering up that center hole. Now we're going to take the gold screw and put that on. Now one thing about this is when you slip it on and you start screwing it, if it doesn't screw down, lift it off, turn it over, and put it back on again. And you do want that to be on there tightly, okay? Just, but with your hand is fine. So now we have this as a solid piece. Now we're going to put the hands on. Okay. And we do the hour hand first, and it has a circle, and as you can see. And that's the shorter of the two it hands. It is, you're right. And that's going to just slip right on. Now, the minute hand has an oval, just like that. So you may have to turn it a little bit to get it on, and I can kind of see where the oval is. It's more like a slot. So it's got two, yeah. um, two flat sides and two curved ends, and it just fits perfectly onto the shape of that top piece. And then there is a top screw that's solid, and that's going to just screw on. A little gold-colored screw on the top. Oops. And just you just want to make sure when you're putting these on that you don't try to force them when you're screwing them on or you're going to get the little threads cattywampus and then they're not <laughs> going to work right. <laughs> now you'll notice that the hands are resting above the, the surface of the clock. That one got a little bent. If it does, just lift it up. And that is actually perfect for our process okay. because we're going to do some other decorating. Before we get to that point, I forgot to have you ink the edges. Okay. So let's do that now. I think ideally I would do that right before I put the clock mechanism sure. on. I would too. Okay. But, so here's the stays on. Here is my little uh, cosmetic sponge. Now you can use it directly from the ink pad, but I think you have a little bit more control using the sponge. That way you can just sort of go around the edge a little bit, a little bit onto the paper and onto the edge of your clock. And that just gives it a nice finished look. So that's the way that's done. Should I finish it or should we show you the Yeah, finished? we'll go on. Yeah. Uh, so what, what Gail is saying is that you can elect just to take your ink pad as you would on a, um, a piece of paper and just go right around the edge like that. That's gonna work perfectly and pretty quickly. Right. But to get that little bit on the front and... Yeah, it gives it more me, of a nuanced look with that yeah. extra little uh, shadow so up there. So that's what we're looking for. If, if you like that, that's how you'll achieve it, is by bringing that sponge a little bit onto the clock edge. Now, we're gonna go for butterflies, and we're gonna stay in really close. Go back, John, go back. Okay, <laughs> look at the butterfly. Now this is out of our 192 butterfly dazzles. There are three butterflies. So there's one there, that's all by itself. Mm -hmm. Then there's another one, and yet another, another one. one. I'll show you that. Right. And you've got the dazzles there. I do. So let's look at those. So this is, this is the actual gold, 192 gold jewel butterfly dazzles. Right. Absolutely beautiful. And something I didn't realize is that the biggest butterflies, there's two rows at the bottom of the sheet, and there's two more rows in the middle of the sheet. So I'm going to stay down at the bottom. And they are slightly different, which I didn't realize until it was pointed out at Girlfriend's Getaway. We're going to take three of them, and we're going to use that to create one butterfly. So let's take one along the bottom row, and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm folding it with the gold side next to the gold side. And I'm going to place it onto my table, like so. Sticky side facing up. Then I'm going to pull another butterfly, and I'm going to also fold that. It's important to remember that there are two styles of these flying butterflies. So if you're going to choose from this bottom row, stay with the bottom row. If you're going to choose from the next row, stay with that row. OK, so now I want to attach one of the um, sticky side to the other sticky side. So there I go. Now what happens is when I open this up, you can see I've got one butterfly down and one butterfly up. Now I'm going to lift up the other side and fold it over. I'm going to take my third butterfly from that bottom row and again fold it gold to gold. And now I want to press this onto the other half, so I'm going to have to turn it over like this. And so now you have these stacking accordion folded butterflies. <laughs> right, just like so. Now you want to bring your clock back. I know it's not 
completely inked, but just for the moment. And um, on our finished one, we place this, you can go ahead and lay it down, uh, between the one and the two. So I'm just going to take my butterfly and position it like so. If you want to do what we did, if you don't, then don't. <laughs> okay, so there it is. So we've got one of this 3D butterfly between the one and the two. We have another one above the four, and we have a third one above the seven. And then there are all of these other butterflies on the sheet. That you can do all your own decorating with, figure out where you want to put them. What I like about this is when you turn this a little bit, you see that they are standing up a little right. bit, but there is just enough room between that lower piece and this that it's not going to hit that when right. that goes around. So the flat ones, we did one between the five and the six, one by the nine, and one by the three. So all of that. And in the kit, there is a finished photograph of this one. Uh, we don't talk in the kit about the butterflies. That's kind of what we're showing now. OK, this okay. is gorgeous. We're it happy. Is. Want some other ideas? We have other sure. ideas. OK, you can take, um, this is Nature's Touch. And look what Susan did. She did a couple of different things with this. She did the same butterflies, but she also left the paper kind of hanging out there. Right, so she, when she cut around, she stopped right at the top and the bottom of that butterfly, and she cut around the edge of the butterfly so it would overlap a little bit. And the, I just think that's a genius. I think it's it is. It's a great idea. The, um, Went ahead and glued it to her clock face and then, or did her stenciling and yeah. then glued it to her clock face. The other thing she did is she used the gilding flakes on the edge, which I think is gorgeous. So Beautiful. flitter glue and the gilding flakes. Now this happens to be the sunlight. sunlight. Yeah. Go ahead and send my say, speckle. Okay, speckle. I would say sparkle, a speckle, and uh, the flitter glue. And the so. flitter glue. So I would take a cosmetic sponge yes. and just put some of the flitter glue along the edge of it. Go ahead and put on the gilding flakes. You put them on, and then I would rub them off with another cosmetic sponge. Now, my vice president, Sandy, who you have not heard about, but Sandy elected to use the same Nature's Touch. She used a different of the gilding flakes. Right. But look what she did with the markers is that she used dazzles, and these are the copper dazzles out of the dark room scrapbooking dazzles. Uh, isn't that, isn't that we'll a great idea? We'll back up so you can see. It's just a really fun That's look. That's a great little idea. Now, I think you could also, if you wanted to, put a few little jewel dazzles on, on some of the little um, the, the round dots going around. So I think that's just lots of fun. Another idea is to take the stencil and first stencil it with stays on onto some uh, a plastic. So this is sheet a plastic protector. liner or a sheet protector. Yeah. So now you've got that face and then you can take your paper and like probably like uh, Susan did this with the Nature's Touch paper to so decide where she wanted the clock face. Do so you want it there? Do you want a butterfly there? Would you rather have the ferns? So it's a great way to locate where you want that clock face. Right, and that's a perfect way to go. So you're gonna bring in some more papers? Sure, okay. if you'd like to see some other ideas on how you could use that. We pulled some other paper packs. So this is from the botanical frames, and I just thought what a beautiful look that would be to get a few of the uh, of flowers in there. That's you know, and I kind of like that with that going, whoops, <laughs> going into the clock. So you could use that sure. area. You but can it lets you whatever play. You like. yeah. yeah. Move it around and find some other some other areas that you like. Another piece from the botanical frames. I love that teal. That very pretty. beautiful butterfly. Put that wherever you like, add those. That's a great look. How about a Christmas theme? Yeah. So now we're talking about, wouldn't this be a great gift? And you can use just the swirls, you can add the poinsettia and Or you berries. can bring it even further that way. Sure, yeah. you can. This is Christmas you Wonder, like. right? This is from Christmas Wonder. Okay. Now, how about a masculine theme? Yeah. I just think this would be great in a boy's room with that great sort of circuitry look there. So maybe even something like that would be Very a little fun. unexpected. That's great. Or if they like camping, Ooh, this would be nice. great in sort of a hunter's room or even just 
for the man in your life, that would be great. Or maybe maybe the women, maybe the women <laughs> like to go do that sort of thing. But steampunk also, I think this is great with the gears. That's fun. And this would be nice if you did some gold embossing through the, yeah. that stencil. Lots of different options. Now here's just, we are going to bring in another I thing, am. but I'm going to show you a couple more. This is with the feathers. Now notice this is using the center area, which we masked off. So there's the feathers. Here it is with um, embossing powder. Yeah, which we so, mentioned, right. Right, so Versamark and embossing powder. Right. Isn't this that is, gorgeous? This is the Bohemian paper pack with that beautiful gold embossing powder on there. Let's see another. Look. Yeah, now we mentioned that because that's raised, you can put some different things. You could put silk flowers, you could put a, some buttons in a cluster. This is paper toll. And this is out of the color, scrapbooking for colorist paper. And you can see the paper toll is right there. So it's flowers for colorist paper toll. It was, um, there, it's a curve and it was uh, cut right here. So this little piece was cut and kind of tucked in there. Right. But so lots of different ideas. And this I is the like black uh, butterflies. So you get those in the glittering color. But Very pretty. we'll back up and I just think this is such a stunning look. It Absolutely love it. So you can it. imagine one of these in each of your rooms. Are you, <laughs> are you, you're imagining the people that you know that you could give these to because they're super fun to make and this is great for gifts. And you have another option. Giving. I do. So remember I talked about uh, inking through a piece of plastic. What if you do it with white stays on? So I did that. So, oh, so now I know what white would look like on a darker background. And when you do that, you can also take the hands to your clock. If you turn them over, they're white on the other side. Brilliant. So now you're <laughs> going to be able to use that for white. And let's look at some of the options. Well, I'm going to back up a little bit and show you on the Trailblazer paper pack. This is one of my favorites. That's now pretty. that is definitely, I'm trying to get that shine off there. What a gorgeous look. So I now wood grain. definitely a wood grain yeah. look with that in the background. You could add the compass up there, however you like. Right. There's also a Christmas option for the Christmas Wonder paper pack. And I'm sorry, I only had one piece of that border <laughs> piece, but using white on top of there, you can move that around and maybe get a little more sparkle in there. Ooh. So move it around and get what you like. Bring more poinsettias in if you like. Right. That'd be pretty with perhaps the gold embossing powder too. Sure. And then look at look at some of the other options just real quickly. From that same paper pack you could get leaves on there or you could move on to Letter oh, press. Yes. I love the large letters on there. Pick the area that you like. That is a really fun kind of a vintage look. This is my favorite. This is oh, from Floral Fantasy. It is. Get the music notes, get a little sparkle in there. For a little girl's room, you could make these pink and let the sparkle be. Oh, sure. Or Very you could, fun. This would just be wonderful anywhere. So, now, we also fun. have a square option. And what people have said about the square is that they like the fact that you can see more of the paper, more of the sure. art. I like that too. So this is Songbird. This is Charming. Charming. These are some of our new paper packs and it still has those beautiful butterflies. Here is Artful Watercolors. Isn't that gorgeous? With those great postcards. And this is Bohemian Dreams, I think. And that's also got gilding, more yes, gilding around the edges. Does. So lots of different opportunities. You can embellish these with other things too. Yes. Maybe some silk flowers if it makes sure that they're low enough not to get hit right. by those little hands or buttons or, um, you know, this just, the possibilities really are endless. So what you can do is take the, cho your chosen clock, round or square or right. both, add the stencil, we're selling each of them separately, and turn them into absolutely wonderful finished items. And uh, did anyone mention Christmas presents? I hear that calling. For sure. So yeah, I hope you can see why I was so very excited about this. And yeah. so were I our girlfriend's getaway I ladies. I think these are gonna go quick because you know, the clock is ticking. So <laughs> you're gonna wanna get one now. Oh goodness. <laughs>